Welcome to this video guys and in this video we will see how we can connect to MySQL database from Visual Studio, check databases, inspect tables and run queries. So let's get started. First of all, open Visual Studio code. Go to extensions or you can press the shortcut keys Ctrl Shift and X to go to extensions. Search for MySQL and you will see a lot of options but select this one from Vision Chain. You will see a blue tick mark right next to it. According to me, this one is the best MySQL extension, so install it. Now once this is installed, you will see these two options, database and NoSQL in your navigation bar. Now click on database. Right now you will see this option create connection. Now click on create connection and you will see a bunch of options. Some from MySQL, some from MariaDB, some from Postgres, some from SQLite and all this stuff. But for now, we want to connect to a MySQL database, right? So make sure you select MySQL. Now you may enter host of a remote server user name of your MySQL user, but for that first we need to make sure our MySQL server is running. So I have a MySQL server from provided from Zap, so I will just start it. If you have MySQL server already running in a server, you don't need to do this. Now, once this is started, what you need to do is you just need to put the host of your MySQL server. In my case, it is localhost. It might be any other IP in your case and enter the username and enter the port and enter the password. I'm leaving the password field empty because I have no password. So these four are the only things that are required. Host, port, username, and password. And once you do this, you will see a list of all the databases that this user has access to. Okay. So after you have entered these details, click on save. And now you will see this connection here. So I had forgot to put connection name. So that's why it's showing IP address at port. So what you can do is you can edit the connection and enter a name here. So I'll write local DB, right? Save it. And now it becomes local DB. So you can close these things now. And now when you click on this, you will just see local database. Now what you can do is click on this arrow next to it. And now you will see all the databases that this user has access to. Okay. So let's inspect one database. Let's click flask users. Now you will see tables, which tables and views and all this stuff. So basically let's click on tables and you can see here we have one table here. Now if you click on this, you can see all the data that is in this table. Now you can expand this and you can run query. Let's say select all from table users where ID equals to two. Hit control and enter to run. And now your query has run successfully. Okay. Also, if you click on this arrow next to the table, you will see all the columns in the table, like ID is integer, password is varchar, join date is date, email is varchar and username is varchar. So these are the columns username, email, join date, password, and ID. So this is how you can connect to MySQL database from Visual Studio. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below.